This might sound cold as hell, but I'm going to say it anyway. After a big storm like a hurricane or something, if you drive your car around a barricade that's closing off a road, or if you knowingly drive through high water, you should be billed for your rescue. I'm sorry, but you should be billed for your rescue. The taxpayers should not be doing that. You should get billed for your rescue because you were stupid. Stupidity needs to be painful. There it is. I just came out of my gym and it is super crowded in there. And I feel so bad. It's, everybody that's in there are uh, people who have lost power is pretty much what it is. And they're here just to get their workout in, but also to get a hot shower. And everybody's talking about it and they're asking each other, oh, did you lose power? When did you lose power? And inevitably the question comes around to me, oh, did you lose power? Nope. No. I never lost power. I never lost power. We we didn't lose power at our house. And everybody kind of stands there and stares at you like, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> I really feel like I was rubbing it in. It was terrible. But at least I got some place to go to get a hot shower. So full storm aftermath report. It's been a couple days since uh, Hurricane Matthew came through. And today was really the first time I went out, out. Um, me and my mom went out for dinner last night, but we didn't, I haven't really gone out, out, like around town and all. Watching the news and driving around and seeing stuff, we dodged a severe bullet. <laughs> I mean, like, unbelievably. I mean, um, I've been seeing pictures just up the street. I mean, I don't even think it's a mile away. Um, there's like these soccer fields completely underwater and of course that's got me wondering because they just built um they just built a housing development right there and I'm wondering if the brand new houses like just built like a month ago were completed I'm wondering if they're underwater <laughs> the uh the town actually posted photographs of it um i'm not going to share the photographs here because i didn't take them and i don't like doing that i don't like trying i don't like stealing people's photographs using a video but you can pretty much find them around, um, just photographs from North Carolina. Um, we have a road that I had originally said, I think in my last video, had been closed and then reopened. Well, apparently it never reopened. I was under the impression it had reopened, but it hasn't. It's completely underwater. We still got, give or take, about 200,000 people in our county who have no power. I was listening to a bunch of women talking today at the gym, and every single one of them, I was the only person there who um, who didn't have power, and they were all saying that they were told that the guesstimation for when their power would be back on would be Sunday. Now, when I'm filming this, it's Monday, and hopefully I'm going to get it up in a few minutes too, but this is Monday. They're being told that they're not going to get power back until Sunday, and understandably, everybody's upset and all, but it's... Uh, I've been watching the news, different areas of the state. I'm in North Carolina, for those who didn't know. Um, different areas of our state are just completely underwater. I mean, just completely destroyed. Underwater, people are displaced, have lost everything. I am trying desperately to find... We've got... Um, my family doesn't do much with the Red Cross, so I'm tr trying to find... Um, other groups that are going in because I don't want to just go to one of these places and volunteer to help and have them think I'm one of these scammers or something because, of course, they're scammers that moved in because, you know, they can't find something better to do with their lives. But um, I'm trying to find groups that aren't the Red Cross that I can volunteer with and I'm having a hard time finding that but I, I'm hoping to find something within the next day or two so that I can hopefully get down someplace in my state and help people clean out, get some of the water out of their houses, get some of their destroyed furniture out so that people can start moving on with their lives. Um, I have said it in my last video, and I'm going to say it again, we were blessed because we didn't lose power. We didn't lose everything. I mean, our backyard flooded, but, and I did go out in my yard today, and I was looking around. I had, I had Sadie out for her walk, and I went up further into the backyard and I was taking a look just to see because we have a lot of out in the wooded area obviously you know there's always dead stuff out there and I was looking we did have some dead trees that came down um but I could tell by looking at the ground inside the wooded area way further back than where I had originally thought the water was 
that there had there was definitely some washdown. So if that hurricane had gone on for another hour or two, it probably would have reached the house because it was we had we had all this washdown. Every all the debris from the ground was all pushed up towards um, towards the front of the wooded area from way back, just way back. And there's this whole undeveloped area behind the house, and it's, you know, it's very overgrown. There's a lot of, you know, trees and bushes and brambles and the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot are back there. And it's, um, you know, all the debris just came washing up, and it's... I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, another hour or two, and that would have hit the house. That definitely would have hit the house. So we were definitely blessed, and I feel like I need to do something. I mean, ultimately, I mean, I have all these, these grand ideas of, of things I want to do to help people, but I just don't have the money to do it, and I don't know how, I don't know how to get people to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Um, my first thought after the, the hurricane went through Haiti, my first thought was I would love to be able to raise enough money to, although there was, there were so many people in Haiti who were still living in, like, makeshift houses like they were made out of like tents and and just you know whatever kind of garbage they could find and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking why can't we just raise enough money to get at least I mean ultimately I'd love to raise enough money to get single wides down there for like all of them but I, I don't think that that's feasible but it would be really cool if we could raise enough money to get a ton of them down there and get a lot of those people out of those little tents and stuff like that and get them into some kind of housing where they could actually live and be safe and feel secure and feel like they had some place, feel like they weren't living in trash. I, I hate... I hate seeing people living in trash. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. And I just... I wish that there was some way that I could raise enough. I mean, I think I could probably raise enough money for one single wide, and that's not going to do anything. That's not going to do any good. I'd love to, I'd love to get like, I'd love to get like, a, like one or two thousand single wides and get them down there. But I, I don't even know how to go about, I don't even know how to go about fundraising for something like that. Like, how do you do that? Where do you go to find the single wides to send down? Once you do raise the money, if by some stroke of luck you manage to raise the money, how do you get the single wides down to Haiti? How do you make sure that they go to the people that need them and not people who already had more secure housing? How do you make sure that they go to the people who actually need them? I, and then I look at the people in my own state, and there's all these people who the waters just came up and just, just flushed out everything they owned. And it's, it's, it's always people who had very little to begin with, and what little they did have is now gone. And, you know, I, I don't have much either. Um, I don't have much to give, but I wish I did. I wish that I knew, I wish I knew what to do. And I, I, I mean, I know I can go on the GoFundMe and stuff like that, but unless the GoFundMe account goes viral, what am I going to do? Give them $5? It's like, oh, here's your $5 bill. Hope that helps. It's not, it's not going to help at all. But, you know, you, you just wish. These are people in my state. I don't know any of these people. And, but they're, they're people in my state, they're, they're my fellow countrymen, and I wish I could do something for them. I mean, I'm watching all this stuff going on, I'm watching it on the news, I'm watching it in person, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, I want to do something, but I have no idea what to do. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. I mean, what do you do? You just kind of end up feeling like you're at a loss because you want to help people, but you don't know how. And, I mean, I can I can give money till my face turns blue, but it's like you want to do something tangible. You know, like you want to go down there and you want to clean out their houses for them and get everything set up. And, you know, I'm going to take this these 50 families and just buy them all new furniture and, you know, do whatever I need to do. You know, let's find out, you know, how do we get your, how do we get negatives for your photographs? How do we get, you know can we restore some of the stuff that you lost that's precious to you, you know, things that you inherited. One woman, oh my God, she was on the news and she started, she was, she was holding it together until she was telling the, the reporter everything she lost. And then it dawned on her that her, I think she said it was her father's ashes were still in the house and she lost it. I mean, immediately lost it. And there's nothing you can do for that. I mean, you can't, 
you can't comfort somebody who who just lost that. I mean, that's just... Mm. And you feel helpless, you know? You just feel like you want to do something. You want to be able to help people. You want to be able to do something for them. But what do you do? And how do you go about it? And how do you help people like, like, like her? I mean, that was the ashes of a loved one. You can't replace that. I mean... You can't replace that. And how do you comfort somebody like that? You know, you can't even comfort them. Anyway, I'm sitting here rambling on. This went a completely different direction than I actually wanted it to go. Thank you for hanging in there with me. We are faring well from the storm. They're cleaning up. Um, if I find some way to help, um, I will do that. Um, I'll let you guys know what, I, know what I'm doing if I manage to do anything other than just give money, because obviously I'm going to give money. I don't have much to give, but I can give something. Um, and I'm going to do it for my state first, because these are, this is my state and these are my people. So, anyway, thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll be making another video eventually. Probably sometime this week. Trying to do some vlogging, but honestly, I'm just not that interesting to do a daily vlog. So, probably, you're going to get a whole bunch of randomness, like you got in the last video, and this one. You know, whatever. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.